Welcome back to the channel, it's Dr. Somji. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most searched ingredients in terms of skincare worldwide. It's called hyaluronic acid. So what is hyaluronic acid? Well, it's a naturally occurring sugar molecule that goes deep down into the skin or even in the upper layers of the skin that helps you retain moisture. So it's something called hydro, it's a hydrophilic molecule. That means it attracts water. In fact, when it's in the dermis, i.e. the lower layers of the skin, it can attract a thousand times its weight in water. And that equates to plumpness, fullness, hydration, elimination or reduction of fine lines and wrinkles when it's absorbed in the skin at the right concentration with the right formulation. So we see it on TikTok, we see it in articles and you know what, it makes me cringe sometimes because you're even having doctors recommending how to use hyaluronic acid possibly in not the best way. So and we see it. So what do we see? We see people spraying water and, and putting hyaluronic acid on damp skin. And the theory is, is that because there's water molecules sitting on the surface of the skin, if you put hyaluronic acid on top of that, then you're gonna be hydrating your skin further so it'll look fuller and plumper. Now, that sounds sensible and it sounds correct, but anyone that knows a little bit about skincare and how it's formulated will say no you do not need to do this. The main thing is, is that if you look on the inky list of most hyaluronic acid formulations, 99.9% .9 of them, the highest amount of ingredient in the inky list, i.e. the one at the top, is aqua. Aqua is water. So these skincare for our formulations, these companies have spent thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars spending on formulations to make sure they got the right amount of water in the product and then suddenly you're putting water on the top surface of your skin and ruining that formulation. This is not what they intended. All the benefits that they have in all their studies saying my skin felt 60% plumper, better elasticity, 70% this, 80% that, that goes all out of the window when you apply hyaluronic acid in that way. So it's a no-no. The reason why we say this is because some individuals say that when they apply hyaluronic acid on the surface of the skin, it makes the skin drier. So they don't feel like it's a moisturizer. Well, that's because the hyaluronic acid that penetrated deep in the skin is drawing moisture up from the surface of the skin and therefore the surface becomes drier. But it's essential after you put the hyaluronic acid on that you put moisturizer on things with ceramides that help lock in the moisture so that you don't get dehydration of the upper layers of the skin. It's not as simple as that. We're gonna talk about how you can have a hyaluronic acid formulation that won't dry you out as long as you know what to look for. Everything is dependent upon the size of the molecule or, or we'd say the weight of the molecule, so the mass of that molecule, so the hyaluronic acid molecule. Now if you imagine, when you're putting hyaluronic acid on the surface of the skin, the smaller the molecule, the easier it can penetrate the skin and go deeper down into the skin. The more heavier the molecule, i.e. the larger the molecule, the more it just sits on the surface. And they have different things. So if you've got a high molecular weight, so a larger molecule, it's absorbed very rapidly just on the surface of the skin, if at all it's anti-inflammatory and it's soothing. But the problem is, is that it stays on the surface of the skin and it can be washed off very easily, it can be rubbed off very easily, and its action is very short-lived. And that's anything in terms of higher than 1800 kilodaltons. And these are the things that you can see in some of the research studies of certain skincare. Then you've got the middle level. So anywhere between 1000 to 1800 kilodaltons, um, where, they sit down and they absorb into the skin and they absorb into the, some of the middle and maybe upper layers of the skin. And these are crucial because if you've got something that's um, middle in the mid range, that is going to stay in the, the upper layers of the skin and it's gonna prevent those upper layers of the skin become, becoming dehydrated. So again, still a little bit more short lived in terms of benefits, but this is gonna help very superficial dryness and maybe superficial lines within that area. And then you've got the lowest molecular weight 
hyaluronic acid. So they're really tiny particles that go deeper down into the deeper levels of the skin and give you that lasting anti-wrinkle effect. And then even a, a stage further than that, less than 100 kilodaltons, these things go much deeper down, much more longer lasting and are regenerative. So they actually stimulate uh, more hydration, more elasticity within the area. And this is what uh, we inject when we inject things like Profilo, uh, which is a common injectable moisturizer that we use that's hyaluronic acid based. So it's very, very naive to think that every single hyaluronic acid formulation is exactly the same. And what do you need to look for? Well, you need to look for a hyaluronic acid formulation that's got a mixture of different molecular weights. That means that you're gonna seed hyaluronic acid at the surface of the skin, the mid range, as well as the lower range. And that way, there's no gaps in terms of hyaluronic acid drawing moisture away from any areas. And then your skin won't be dry. Always make sure you follow up with a moisturizer afterwards, ceramides, even some facial oils if you're doing it at night. You do not need to apply it to wet skin. It disturbs the formulation of your hyaluronic acid. If you take a very famous hyaluronic acid or the Vichy for a hyaluronic acid formulation, it's formulated with their special water. So if you're gonna put your own tap water, the hard water at home on your face, you're gonna make it drier. You're only gonna get that temporary benefit that's gonna last about 30 minutes and then it'll go. So you don't wanna be listening to that advice. Here are my first top four um, hyaluronic acid formulations that I've recommended and I've researched in terms of actually saying that they have a mix of high and low molecular weight hyaluronic acids. One of the most good valuable value for money ranges that I've seen was the Revolution Hyaluronic Acid Skincare. And they've clearly mentioned, they haven't mentioned the weight of the hyaluronic acid that they use, but they have said that they've researched and included both high and low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. And this is a cheap and cheerful way of hydrating both the upper and lower layers of your skin. And if you combine this with certain moisturizers afterwards, then your skin will feel moisturized. So the second product I always like to talk about when you're looking at different molecular weight HA is the Vichy uh, Supreme Hyaluronic Acid Epidermal Filler Serum. Now this, um, according to Vichy, is one of the most researched HAs because they've got different sizes specific for different levels of the skin, from the uppermost levels to the lowermost levels. So this is why when you're talking about price point, you see a difference with hyaluronic acids because their Vichy's famous HA uh, serum is about less than kind of 50 pence per mil. But this one with the multiple levels of HA is about one pounds 30 per mil. So it's more than double in price for the amount that you're doing. So if there is a very cheap HA, you've got to question whether you've got all of those different molecular sizes, otherwise you're not gonna get a benefit from it. So if you've got those large HA molecules that are sitting on the surface of the skin, all you're gonna do is get temporary hydration for like 20, 30 minutes, and then afterwards your skin might actually look drier. Um, you can use all these fad things like putting water and stuff on, but that's only gonna just essentially keep it there as long as the water's there. So, you know, it's not gonna be a long lasting strategy. One other one that we know that has got different molecular weight is a drunk elephant hydration formulation, which is quite nice. It's a light moisturizer. It's also got some things like glycerin and ceramides in there to help lock in the moisture. So it's almost like a two in one. That's why you're paying a little bit more for it. And, on, and at the upper end of the scale, you've got Revision Skincare, which has got two forms of HA within their HA uh, formulation. And they're specific sizes designed for the upper and lower levels of the skin. Um, obviously, it's got other ingredients in there as well that helps with the formulation. I do think that you're missing a trick with hyaluronic acid if you're not gonna mix it with things like vitamin C and other actives because it's a great substance to hold things in. So, and it's a great delivery device as well. So 
Um, also, when you're looking at hyaluronic acid, look for things like other actives like vitamin C's, look for niacinamide as well, which are fantastic to give you that all round youthful glowing skin. Here's a recap. You want to look for a hyaluronic acid that have got at least two different molecular weights and so multiple molecular weights so you can hydrate every single layer. If you're using a hyaluronic acid and it's drying out your skin, it's probably a simple formulation. Don't do the wetting skin beforehand. It's disturbing with the actual kind of uh, essentially the matrix, the, the structure of your product and the efficacy cannot be guaranteed once you me mess up that formulation. And then thirdly, always look out for more active ingredients to combine with your hyaluronic acid formulations. If you've got any questions about hyaluronic acid, if you don't agree with me, just comment in the comments below and we can have a little discussion. Subscribe now to be the first to see brand new videos hot off the press.